And thank you to the participants for choosing Compliance Key for your professional development and training needs. As you are aware, today's topic is how to give effective feedback to employees. We are going to talk about the reasons why providing feedback is so important, as well as I'm going to provide you with some practical tips and suggestions that you can use to do what I call getting in the habit of providing effective feedback, for short, just getting in the feedback habit. I'm also going to talk to you about some of the common mistakes that managers make when providing feedback to employees so that you can be aware of these and strive to avoid them in your interactions with employees. So the ultimate goal of today's training is, of course, for you to leave um, the session today with practical tips and suggestions that you can use and apply in your own day-to-day situations and uh, at the towards the end of the presentation I will stop to see if there are any questions that any of the participants would like to ask before we conclude today's session so again thank you for choosing compliance key and now we're going to focus on the very important topic of how to provide employees with effective feedback first of all anyone who supervises employees needs to realize that providing feedback to employees is a vital part of that job. And that includes both positive feedback and negative feedback. It is critical for supervisors to let employees, their employees know when they're doing a good job. And it's just also critical for supervisors to let employees know when improvement is needed and I have been doing management in, in HR training for quite a long time and it, it always surprises me to learn what a, a challenge this is for many people who are in supervisory roles and I, I really shouldn't be surprised anymore but, but I kind of am. I run into a lot of managers who think that employees ought to know that they're doing a good job as long as they're not getting fussed at for something. And there's a big problem with that perspective. Um, there are many problems with that perspective, but a key one is it's just an error to assume that employees are going to think that everything is fine just because they're not hearing from you. Because a lot of times they assume that that means that things aren't fine. And beyond that, even if even if they do realize things are okay, People need to know that their efforts are appreciated. And when supervisors refuse or just neglect to tell employees when things are going well, what ends up happening is they have workers who feel unappreciated. And you may even have workers who are doing great things, but because they never hear you say thank you, um, they think that what they're doing doesn't matter, and so their performance backs off. It, it, it drops off from where it should be. And then, of course, when employees are doing things that they shouldn't do, it's critical to let them know immediately so that they can take steps to resolve the problem before they develop bad habits that become a, a problem. But a lot of times supervisors don't want to do that either. They simply don't want to tell employees. They just think, oh, well, they know better. They won't do it again. But the problem is that most people don't do things wrong on purpose and that if an employee is doing something, they think it's fine. And every time you don't call them on it, well, then you are, in fact, teaching them that the behavior is okay. So both types of feedback are important. It is just as important to let your employees know how to improve or what they need to improve and to make that feedback constructive by giving them insights into what they can do to do things better, as well as to let them know when they're doing something wrong, but also to let them know when they are doing things right. Um, 